Hi, it's Ross from SDS. This is Les Kearney's uh, RV10. Power comes from an IO540 with uh, SDS fuel injection and ignition system. Okay, we're going to start out this video with a bit of background information. And i uh, just going to start out showing you this chart here. This is basically showing you uh, air fuel ratio versus power and uh, brake specific fuel consumption. So up here, uh, this is the best power area. And we can see down at the bottom here, this is air fuel ratio. So the air fuel ratio between about uh, 12 to one and about 14 to one, this is the best power area. And uh, the curve is pretty flat near the top. You don't gain or lose much power by going between about uh, 12 to one and 14 to one air fuel ratio. However, as we uh, lean the mixture here, and uh, lean is this way, the uh, brake specific fuel consumption gets better and better up to a point here. And this area is peak EGT. This is a stoichiometric mixture, chemically correct air fuel ratio. And uh, to this side of this arrow here is a lean of peak. And that's where we'll be operating uh, the engine in this video mostly. And you can see the brake specific fuel consumption uh, is the best at around 18 to one air fuel ratio. And if you get leaner than that, it actually gets worse. And you can see the power starts to rapidly drop off. You get to leaner than about 18 to one, it really plummets here. So we really don't want to run the engine much leaner than that. It, it, uh, you get worse fuel economy and less power. And uh, so that uh, up here, you can kind of see, you know, rough ranges, best fuel economy, stoichiometric, best power. On this side, uh, if we had problems uh, keeping the CHTs down in the climb, we can add more fuel. It'll uh, burn, you'll burn a lot more fuel as you can see here, but it will cool the cylinders a bit more. So uh, we really don't like that option, but sometimes you don't have an option other than that. Okay, and the second factor we're gonna look at in this video is uh, how ignition timing affects uh, power and fuel economy. So this chart uh, shows uh, combustion flame speed versus air fuel ratio. And uh, you can see here, uh, this is best power, somewhere around 12.8 to one air fuel ratio down here. This is uh, peak EGT, this is lean of peak. So we can see at uh, best power, the flame speed is approximately, uh, we'll say 75 feet per second over here. And as we get uh, progressively leaner, the uh, flame speed falls off quite considerably actually. So uh, as we learned in the previous chart there, um, lowest brake specific fuel consumption is around an air fuel ratio of around 18 to one. So you can see the flame speed drops from about uh, 75 to about 55 uh, as we go from say uh, 13 to one or so air fuel ratio to about 18. And this is one of the reasons we want to uh, light off the mixture earlier and by to do that we advance the ignition timing somewhat uh, when we're lean of peak and you'll see uh, we're trying a few different uh, timing values to see what effect that has on speed at various air fuel ratios and uh, hopefully this gives you some sort of background on why this is important and uh, we can see in flight uh, what kind of difference that makes
So we did all the testing you see here today with the autopilot on and in uh, glass smooth air. The results varied a bit, but best economy was obtained at around 80 to 100 lean of peak at an indicated AFR of around 16.2 with 30 degrees of timing. Less or more timing, lost speed and economy when lean of peak. And I suspect the wideband AFR meter is reading about 0.5 to 0.7 low, making AFR for best economy actually closer to 17. When the timing is changed, the EGT changes, making direct comparisons to the degree lean or rich of peak with fixed ignition timing difficult. So to conclude, I ran some calculations after sifting the data and found that the average fuel saving running lean of peak versus rich of peak for the same TAS would be around 7 to 8% with the advanced timing that STS EFI allows. By advancing timing when lean of peak, we optimize the point of peak cylinder pressure for best torque with a slower burning mixture. Anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. The RV-10 is an awesome airplane, as you can see here, and Les Kearney did a fine job building this one. Many thanks to him for making these videos possible.